Let's talk about the jester who sailed the high seas of Tudor England, Will Summer. This jolly good fellow entertained kings and queens with his witty quips and outrageous pranks. But there's more to this man than meets the eye, and in this essay, we'll delve into some of the hidden, humorous facts about Will Summer. Early life and education. Will Summer was born in a land far, far away. Okay, not that far. He was actually born in Oxfordshire in 1498. His parents were dairy farmers, and little Will grew up milking cows and churning butter. But he had a passion for entertaining, so he joined a traveling troupe of minstrels when he was a teenager. Rumor has it that he was so good at playing the lute that even the cows would moo along. Jester at the Tudor Court Will Summer's rise to fame began when he became a court jester for Henry VIII. And let's be honest, if you can make a king laugh, you can make anyone laugh. Will was so good at his job that he was given his own room in the palace, a salary, and access to the royal library. But the real perk of the job was the food. Will loved nothing more than a good feast, and being a court jester meant he got to sample all the delicious treats. Hidden facts about Will Summer. Will Summer was a survivor, both in the court and on the high seas. He managed to avoid getting caught up in the power struggles of the Tudor court by staying neutral. And when he wasn't cracking jokes for the king, he was busy pirating on the Thames. Okay, maybe not really, but you never know. Will Summer was a renaissance man. He wasn't just a jester, he was also a talented musician, composer, and artist. He was known to paint portraits of the royal family, and rumor has it that he once painted a caricature of Henry VIII, but he had to keep it hidden because the king wasn't too fond of it. Will Summer had a bit of a rebellious streak. He was a devout Catholic, which put him at odds with Henry VIII's Protestant beliefs. But Will wasn't one to shy away from controversy. He once wrote a satirical song poking fun at the king's many marriages, which was quite daring considering the punishment for treason was, well, let's just say it wasn't pretty. Will Summer had a son named Richard, who followed in his father's father's footsteps and became a jester at the Tudor court. But Richard wasn't content with just telling jokes, he also had a talent for acrobatics. Legend has it that he once did a backflip over Elizabeth I's throne, which earned him a standing ovation. Legacy Will Summer's legacy as a court jester lives on. He's remembered as a man who could make even the grumpiest of monarchs laugh. But he's also remembered as a man of many talents and interests. His contributions to music, art, and literature are still celebrated today. And who knows, maybe somewhere out there, a descendant of Will Summer is still making people laugh and living life to the fullest. Will Summer's role with Henry VIII's queens As a jester in the Tudor court, Will Summer had a unique relationship with the king's wives. He was not only responsible for entertaining the king, but also the queen and her ladies-in-waiting. And with six wives over the course of Henry's reign, that's a lot of entertaining to do. Will's quick wit and charm made him a favorite among the queens, especially Catherine of Aragon and and Bullen. He would often perform for them in private, telling body jokes and singing love songs. It's said that Anne Bullen even gave him a gold chain as a token of her appreciation. But things took a turn for the worse when Henry divorced Catherine and married Anne. Will's loyalty to Catherine, who he had known since she first arrived in England, put him at odds with the new queen, and was jealous of the close relationship between Will and Catherine, and she banned him from performing for her. Undeterred, Will continued to entertain the queen Queen's ladies-in-waiting, often at great risk to himself. He once performed a puppet show that mocked Anne's ambition, which could have landed him in hot water had it been discovered. But his quick thinking and charm saved him once again. When Anne was eventually executed, Will's loyalty shifted to her replacement, Jane Seymour. He became her personal jester, and it's said that he even performed for her on the day of her coronation. As Henry's marriages continued to dissolve, Will remained a constant presence in the court, entertaining each new queen with his quick wit and outrageous pranks. His ability to navigate the treacherous waters of Tudor court politics and maintain his relationships with each queen is a testament to his talent as a jester and his loyalty to the crown. Conclusion So there you have it. Will Summer, the jester with a heart of gold and a talent for making people laugh. But there's more to this man than just his jokes and pranks. He was a renaissance man, a survivor, and a rebel. His hidden facts add a touch of humor to his already colorful life.